Drew Barrymore reveals the moment Keanu Reeves changed her life. There's a problem I have with rebellion. At just 10 years old, she was already addicted to drugs and alcohol. That's exactly the age where you need some guidance. What was the mother doing? She would go her way and I would go my way. She created a monster. How did Keanu try to help Drew escape her problems? I was at this club and you came in, grabbed my hand, put me on your motorcycle. And I just got so out of control. Drew's mom abandoned her, putting the child star in a psychiatric institution. I kicked, I screamed. You would get thrown in the padded room or in stretcher restraints. The worst pain I've ever known. I never thought I was gonna make it. They drove me here in the middle of the night and they walked me right through those two doors. I hated it. I kicked, I screamed. One minute you're at movie premieres and clubbing and the next minute you're in a full-blown institution with barbed wire everywhere. And when you go through those two doors, you do not come out. Drew rebelled to bury the pain of her childhood. I would rile up all the girls and I'd be like, listen, fuck this place. These people don't care about you. Let's fucking show them. People are dramatic about their lives, but you really did have to raise yourself. My own mother had to kick my father out um, because he was a drug addict. And so, of course, I resented my mother. God, I want to be just like my dad and my grandfather because they were all famous people and they were respected, you know, and they drank. Can I get you a glass of milk, honey? Milk? I'm a Barrymore. Get me a drink and make it a double. Dancing on tables at Helena's in Studio 54 and Limelight and every club on the planet and partying it up, doing whatever I wanted. What about the drugs? That started when I was about 10. Where were you when she was going to parties and bars at 9? She would go her way and I would go my way. 9 or 10, that's exactly the age where you need some guidance. I was just mad. I was so mad. And I really didn't understand what anger was. I don't think I was really thrilled with my real life. So I, I would go on these sets for three months at a time and create these families. When Drew met Keanu Reeves on set, she finally had a positive role model to look up to. We had so much fun making it. It was crazy. I would look around and see the people that I wanted to be like. They were always the kind, humble, hardworking examples. Mm. You are so that. I don't know. That's kind of you to say that. <laughs> I love what I do. I love acting. We can change lives. We can't help. But when young Drew left Keanu's guidance, the pain she bottled up finally exploded. I came home drunk and uh, trashed the house. And I just got so out of control. My mom put me in a place that was like a full psychiatric ward. You know, I think she created a monster and she didn't know what to do with the monster. And right. this was her last gasp. You couldn't mess around in there. And if you did, you would get thrown either in the padded room or get put in stretcher restraints and tied up. I was so upset at having my freedom taken away like that, that I just thought it would screw me up for life. I thought I would be here forever. I never thought I was gonna make it to somewhere better. Removed from her toxic home life, Drew was determined to change. My mom couldn't parent, and they single-handedly gave me 18 years worth of parenting. It's what I needed. Almost there was like no the way I was going to be me without that year and a half. I left there like the most humble person you could ever imagine. They saved your life, didn't they? They saved my life. Even though Drew had changed, her rebellious reputation followed her. I started going out on auditions again. Being in a mental institution doesn't make everyone want to call you for work. No one would hire me. I was totally blacklisted and washed up. I went through that for a lot of years. How could I let myself lose my career? But when Drew ran into an old friend, he showed her that she didn't have to hide who she was. I was at this club, and it was my 16th birthday, and you came in, and you grabbed my hand, and you put me on your motorcycle, and you took me on the ride of my life, and I was so free. There's a problem I have with rebellion and authority. No, rebellion is good. You can't just kick out rebellion. Rebellion is usually a thoughtful gesture. It feels good. Yes, it does! And if you're barking and, you know, it just it depends on what you do with your bike. Inspired by Keanu, Drew channeled her rebellion to make her dreams a reality. I wanted to go back to 
who I was and what I had when I was a kid mm -hmm. that I really did love. I started Flower Films when I was 19. This Robert. is our, our poster wall when we first started the company in my living room. I liked making happy films, films about the rawness and vulnerability of trying to grow up. Everyone has their own unique little journey and mine was very unorthodox. Drew Barrymore is shaking up Hollywood with her own talk show that tackles hard topics. We have both had the privilege and fortune to keep going. Yeah. And what a gift and a blessing that is. <sighs> yeah. I want the scars and the cracks and yes. The warrior stories and the laughs and the embarrassments and the lessons. We're writing books. This is a chapter. It's nice to know years later that the book keeps getting written and the chapters keep evolving.